Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, it's me, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir, founded in 1769 by the French-Canadian fur trader Louis Blanchet. Well, formerly known as La Petite Coast, well, that's French for the Little Hills. Um, it was uh, the land between the... The Spanish government controlled the Mississippi Valley between 1762 and 1800. Well, and for like a dozen years later. Well, for then, for that dozen years, it was known as the Little Hills. But then it became San Carlos Barmeo. Now, in 1804, when uh, Lewis and Clark came to the St. Charles and decided that they were going to, uh, well, when they came to San Carlos Barmeo, and decided they were going to go ahead and start their westward expansion together from right here in St. Charles, Missouri, which it originally, the westward, westward expansion started in St. Louis, across from the Arch. Now, uh, they made their way down the river to here, and then uh, the other one showed up, so they started together need to figure out what the other which one was here and which one showed up anyway um, they started together and some shortly thereafter instead of calling it San Carlos Barmeo they started calling it St. Charles and so therefore here we are in the lovely town of St. Charles Missouri alrighty then that being said this here is blog 260 Ring a ding ding, 260. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Not to be confused with 216, 260, 260. Alright, alright. Hey, you know, some days are better than others. And well, I just got to ask you. I just got to ask you one question. Give me a second and I'll ask it. Did you ever, did you ever get, did you ever get one, did you ever get one of them, did you ever get one of them days, boy, did you ever get one of them days, when nothing is right from morning to night, did you ever get one of them days, did you ever get one of them days, you get up in the morning, you turn on the shower, you're getting pneumonia, the hot water is gone, freezing, sneezing, you want to dry your back, Oh well, did you ever get one of them days when there's no towel on the rack? Did you ever, did you ever get, did you ever get one? Did you ever get one of them? Did you ever get one of them girls, boys? Did you ever get one of them girls who's awful nice but cold as ice? Did you ever get one of them girls? Yeah, did you ever get one of them girls? Yay, girls, 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 girls. You're at the driving movie with a cute brunette. A counting on the kisses that you're going to get closer, closer, closer. Then she hollers, Oh, did you ever get one of them girls who just wants to watch the show? Show, 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 show. Did you ever, did you ever get, did you ever get one? Did you ever get one of them? Did you ever get one of them days, boys? Did you ever get one of them days? When nothing is right from morning to night, do you ever get one of them days, boys? Do you ever get one of them days? You're on a Sunday picnic, and it starts to pour. You run through poison ivy, scratch until you're sore. Ants come a dancing, carry off your bread. Do you ever get one of them days when you stood or stayed in bed? Do you ever, do you ever get, do you ever get, do you ever get one of them? All right. I hope that sounded all right, because, well, I had fun doing it. Do you ever get one of them days? All righty then. Hey, 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 hey. Do you ever have one of them days? So far, it's a beautiful day outside. The sun is shining brightly, and the temperature is up to about, oh, let's see. What is the temperature up to about? All right. Yeah, it's about 54 degrees out there right now. It's going to be climbing up to 55 by 4 o'clock, but then it's going to start dropping off 
45 or 54, 51, 50, uh, 48, 46. It's going to start getting down there tonight, boys, because I tell you what, around 8 p.m., it's going to be 46 degrees. And it's just going to keep going down, down, down. Not good. Not good for me because I don't like it in the cold. No siree, no siree. I told you I went to see the movie Pan the other day, didn't I? Well, I'll tell you what, I enjoyed that movie. Um, they had the 3D version, but we didn't see the 3D version, and i tell you what, I'm kind of glad I didn't, because there were some scenes in there that would have really messed up your eyes had it been in 3D, because uh, it was like bright flashing lights and stuff. Uh-uh. That wouldn't have been cool at all. Bright flashing lights? No. Anyway, it was a bunch of fairies flying around at the time. Anyway, that being said, uh, anybody out there gonna uh, comments on my uh, new singing? Now that I'm not singing in the old low tones, I'm trying to sing high, trying to get up there in the tenderness, but I don't. How about that hair today? Looking good, huh? All right. Well, actually, my roommate ended up doing it. Caregiver, cute as she may be, she just hates doing my hair. And I understand that because, well, I am particular. Because, well, i got to be looking at you folks, and you folks got to be looking at me. And, hey, you know, I'm good looking. Now, if somebody messes up my hair, I'm still going to be good looking. But... You know, we like for you all to be able to enjoy what you see. And that, in particular, would be me. So, glad you're here with me. Glad you, uh, glad I'm getting those likes out there. I still keep getting uh, likes from pretty much the same regular people. Cindy, I'm glad you're uh, forwarding me all the time. Ash, glad you forward me. Um, Thaithu, Thaithi, Thaitho. I don't know. It's, uh... Uh, foreign name, maybe Japanese or Chinese. Anyway, Thaithu, T H E T H E U. No, T H U T H U Y. Yeah, Thuthai, Thuthu, Thuthi, Thuthi. Yeah, don't know. Anyway, sorry if I'm chopping it up and buggering it, but anyway, I appreciate your likes and I'm getting some likes from uh Dennis and and uh Craig every now and again I get some comments from Craig. I haven't talked to Craig for a while. He might, I wonder if he's still at home. He might still be at home. Depends on how them ribs is coming along. Ouch, cracky cracky. Not good. Wouldn't be prudent. Cracky cracky. And anyway, Denise, yep, glad to see you out there on the old uh, crime scenes. One of my favorite games, got crime scenes going. Also got um, another game out there that I've been playing lately. It's called uh, Toy Toy Blast. Yeah, Toy Blast. That's a good game, too. I enjoy it. Simple game. It's a strategy game. You got to... Uh, kill the right blocks to get the right blocks all lined up. The more blocks you get lined up at the right time, the more you can blow up and do what with. So, anywho, that's one of my one of my two favorite games. And then, of course, there's pool. And a uh, mini clip pool. Gotta play that one. Hey, I used to be really good at pool when I was standing up. I, can, I used to have to shoot full games behind my back on account of People wouldn't play me straight-handed, so there you go. And I'd still whoop them. But I can't go to proving it now. Too bad, so sad. But I can play a pretty good game of money clip whenever I get on there. So there you are. Hey, um, how was that Elvis tune? How'd you like it? Well, give me some feedback. Kick it back, kick it back to me. Kick, kick, kick it on back. Oh, thanks, Dad, too, you, by the way. I forgot. Uh, I didn't forget. I just forgot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. You know, that's one of those things. When somebody 
when you're somebody sitting there and they're talking to you like I just was, and it's something obvious and it's straight to the point, and then they say, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know what you could do to reverse that on them is you can say, yeah, and then you can say, know what I'm saying? And see what they got to say about it. Because I know people that say know what I'm saying every time they finish a conversation. And it drives me nuts. Anyway, I'm going to try to fix this. See if I can't fix this. Nope, guess I ain't going to be able to fix that. No, I didn't want to do that. All right, well, quit messing around. Shoot, messing around, getting myself all shut off. Have you all folks buried up and gone and whatnot? That wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. No, sir. No how. No way. There's a piece of technical equipment over there that I'd like to be able to figure out how to use, but I ain't figured out how to use it yet because it would help me to edit. And if I could edit these things, then I'd be okay. But I ain't never edited it, 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 it yet. So I don't know how to edit. So you just get what comes out, which is, you know, okay because, well, hey, I don't listen back to them anyway. I just listen back to them. I do them, and while I'm doing them, I, if I mess up, I just keep carrying on because, well, that's the way I am. I don't want to. I'll go back and try to correct myself at the time, but if I don't correct myself and it's got a faux pas in it, well, it's just there, and that's all there is to it. Anyway, the one caregiver that I had today, um, she's well we ain't gonna say anything about how good looking she is but I'm gonna have to say yes she's good looking but I'm not gonna tell you any names so there I can get away with that um anyway uh I was showing her some back pictures of my stuff and uh, I showed her my car wreck and she hadn't seen them before she's been out here probably eight to ten times in the last three years three four years she's been out here quite a bit and uh, she never seen my car picture so I showed him up to her again and so therefore she got a chance to glimpse at that car wreck again well not again for a first time but yeah hey you know I'm blessed to be here uh, I had that automobile accident a long time ago and well hey one of these days I'm going to have to redo that one. That one's probably about blog number four, three or four, somewhere back there. Way back at the beginning of my blogs, i done that one. I don't know if i ever done my stuck on a bus in Chicago, but I'm pretty sure I did. Because I was just rolling down the hill, and I rode right into the bus. Clonk. And I was just stuck there, and I didn't know what to do. And along come a bicycle angel. And he got me off. I was stuck like glue, and he got me all undo. Anyway, hey, I've done that one before, so I'm not going to do it right now. Not right now. I don't think so. Man, time is flying. I love it when time flies like this because it makes my blog go so much faster because it's already 1404. And, well, that's a good thing because... That means y'all don't have to listen to me no more. You know, well, you do for a few seconds, but hey, you can handle it, right? I hope you can. Well, let's put it this way. It's about that time. I'm kind of counting down. That's what I'm doing, just kind of blogging, just kind of rug run jogging off to finish her up. I said, well, goodbye, my friends. Well, it's time to go to do 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 yeah, bye, my friends. Yes, it's time to go. But do 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 do. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. 
Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Ba -do 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 -do. Hey, this here is Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Uh, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name. Come back and see me tomorrow because I'll be here and I hope you are too. All right. Have a good night, uh, good day, friends. Good day.